let's get real for a moment. Living with visible unwanted hair can be emotionally draining. It's affected my confidence, my relationships, and even my willingness to go out and maybe live life to the fullest. Laser hair removal hasn't just changed my appearance, it's changed how I feel about myself. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about something I care a lot about and that's my journey with laser hair removal for PCOS. If you've ever felt self-conscious about unwanted hair, this video is for you. Imagine waking up every day dreading the mirror because of that five o'clock shadow on your face. Now picture feeling confident and free no longer being stuck to constant plucking and shaving. That's the transformation I've experienced and I am here to share it with you. I had spent years thinking about this and I finally took the step this summer and I'm so glad that I did. And I went through Mirror Mirror Skin Lab in Brooklyn, which is woman owned and black woman owned. So you know, supporting women of color and small business owners it has been truly fantastic. She is amazing and I cannot recommend her enough. I am just so happy with my results, which is why I have documented my journey. And it's off to my last appointment for laser hair treatment. And we're gonna be talking about that today. So first things first, to the appointment, documenting that last session, and then we'll chat. A girl right here, right? Oh. Great Skin, Mirror Mirror Skin Lab. Definitely make sure that you save this, bookmark it, do what you need to do. <laughs> All right, ready. Here we go. Glasses, they're on. The machine, she's warming up. <laughs> We're only gonna show a very short amount of this because the heat's gonna have to be turned up and I'm not gonna be able to handle it. Yes, you're that. gonna be able to handle it. But like I'm recording. Of people. No, but like recording <laughs> when the heat goes up. Because my hand's gonna like move a lot and nobody wants that. I feel like you always get so nervous about it. Then afterwards, as we get into it, you're like, oh yeah, I'm okay. really quickly. So here's what we got right here. And I will... Yep, it's like from here, all the way down, up to like right in the middle of the chin. Alright, like don't forget, go check the first video, which I'm gonna link, so you can see what we were starting with. So you can see a real before and after. Especially for the girl who had subway issues. MTA was on some bull****. <laughs> which I will leave out. <laughs> Before we dive in, let's talk about PCOS, or polycystic ovary syndrome. It's a hormonal disorder that affects many women, causing a range of symptoms, including excess hair growth. For me, it meant battling unwanted hair on my jawline and neck and a constant source of anxiety and self-consciousness. When I first discovered laser hair removal, I was skeptic. Would it work? Could I afford it? But let me tell you, it's been a game changer, truly. I started with an initial consultation with Mirror Mirror Skin Lab, and I documented my first session in a different video, and it was only about 15 minutes. And each subsequent session has used a stronger laser. I am about to have my last appointment next month of six sessions. And I have to say the results, the difference is night and day. As somebody with PCOS, another way that I have been battling with my unwanted hair and areas of hair loss is by going to the dermatologist and taking spironolactin. So I started doing that this summer as well. And 
it takes several months to know if it's working. I can't tell you right now if it's working or not because it could take a long time to know. I go back to the dermatologist in December and we'll talk about how things are going then. So right now, it's a stay the course for me. But overall, I'm so happy. Before, I couldn't go a single day without having to take care of things. And now I can go for days without touching my face. It's liberating. The aftercare is one of the best parts because it's super simple. It cleanses normal, then apply aloe vera and use a sunscreen on the treated area. We wanna make sure we're taking care of our skin all the time. So why I recommend laser hair removal is because one, it's effective, especially for PCOS related hair growth. Two, the sessions are quick and manageable. The results are long lasting, though catch ups may be needed. And it's more affordable than I expected. Is laser hair removal right for you? If you are struggling with unwanted hair, especially due to PCOS, I encourage you to look into laser hair removal. Do your research, find a reputable clinic and take that first step towards feeling more confident in your skin. Remember, everyone's journey is different. What worked for me might not be perfect for you, but I hope sharing my experience helps you make an informed decision. Maybe it prompts you to start researching and talking to other people. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on PCOS, self-care, and body positivity. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your own experiences. Thank you for watching and remember, you're beautiful with or without hair. See you in the next video. Bye.